No, we'll start this video whenever we want to. I'll start it out. If I want to jerk your coat off, that's how the video will start. You sit there and look smoking hot rock goddess and drink your little freaking mocha chococino. Pike's Peak. Pike's Place. Yeah. That got hit on me when I asked for a venti <laughs> Pike's Place. Peak. Pike's Place. Pike's Road. Pike's Peak is a fucking hill. <laughs> I don't know. That's where they race cars. It's really good. Shit! <laughs> I was wanting you to do it. No. That wasn't a very good one. My throat's a little bit sore. You gave me some kind of disease last night. What's going on, you sexy mother bitches? Coming to you uh, right now. It's 7 in the p.m. Saturday night. Getting ready for a little uh, Kentucky Wildcat basketball. Number one in the nation for a reason. But uh, starting to listen to the pregame shows. And already... Chime in whenever you want to, but Digger Phelps for College Game Day has already made an announcement to the crowd. We just heard this. Made an announcement to the crowd for the UK fans not to fuck it up for the Vandy for for Game Day for the Vandy fans because we travel in we travel in bunches. That's what you expect. Are you going to show your titties now? Sandman's already commented. Please, please. <laughs> oh, it's, it's raining in from a chair. Damn it. But uh, you show yours. No. They're bigger. Mine, mine, if I pull mine out, you'd end up divorced. Because there'd be some stalker <laughs> kicking windows in right in the middle of one of these videos. But we're talking about basketball. Okay, basketball. So I did see, I saw one of my subs tweet to me, you know, I wasn't talking shit when uh, his Hoosiers won. When they beat us by one at Indiana. It was a loss. It was a loss. We were a different team then as well. Uh, I, I would beg to say that we were half the team we are now. Uh, we actually, this new, uh, Dave, uh, this uh, new Jones kid. Where'd he come from? Um, he just, he started, he started playing. He's what was expected in the preseason three months ago, what we should have seen. But, could chime in. They want to hear you more. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to Don't be afraid. I'm not it's, afraid. It won't bite you. When you say something of importance, I will chime in. I'm talking about college basketball right now. That's the most important thing this time of year. Football's done and over with. Oh, Packers. Brady's no. banging his model and I don't know what the fuck. Evidently, Rogers just called Miss. Did you know uh, Kessel was his name? Brad Kessel for the Pittsburgh Steelers shaved his beard. Yep. Shaved his beard. Shaved his beard. That uh, did you see how he looked? He looked. Let's just say not quite as epic as he did he once before. He looked richer because it was no thousand no. dollars. Well, it was for charity. Rest. If there was a charity event, I would donate my beastly beard. They would actually scrap metal this out because it's not regular hair. It's copper. Oh, God. I've had people try to break in the house and cut this shit. Luckily, I heard them fire the chainsaw at first. All right. But they have tried. This is The weight in this alone would buy me six hookers. Just in copper. Male hookers. <sighs> but uh, Wildcats down in Vandy and... And as many of you know, if you watch college basketball, if you even care about college basketball, Love UK college. fans travel more than any other. And I'm going to see comments on here that their their schools are more epic. But UK fans travel in, in packs. It's crazy. It's the only thing going on in Kentucky. That's right. We, we don't have a football program. We're not like any other state. We don't There's, have any pro teams. Now, there is some cardinal team up north. Claymore's a slap taste out of my mouth about it. There is some Louisville team. I think it's Louisville. Is that where they're from? Louisville. Louisville. They, See, even the, uh, up there in the chicken bucket. They beat West Virginia today. They did, by by three. And they play Syracuse this week. I think Kurt got uh, player of the game. Um, I want them to beat Syracuse. Why? Syracuse is number two, and they're highly overrated. Oh. Hmm. Overrated, you say? That's strong words for teams trade number two in the country. Well, I just, I, um, you know. I think you're right. I think they are extremely overrated. And I also think that tonight could be... Tonight will be a good game. We could get screwed. Literally. That was so gay. Um, <laughs> no, the Commodores are good. They got that guy back who was gone the first of the season. They're playing at home. Kentucky's young. So, um, should I, be a good game. I think I think it's very possible that we could take a loss at Vandy. I'm, I'd throw that out there. That, people were talking, oh, Florida's going to beat your ass. No, damn it! We had Gator! 
We ate it up. It's well, a football. That's it, Rupp, though. I think end of the season you go to Florida. It's I think we, same closer. outcome. Davis shoves the ball up in somebody's ass without using Vaseline. I think it happens. As long as we stay healthy, I think we win SEC. I, we could win out. Vandy is going to be the tough. Vandy is the game that I've always been concerned about. Because I told you. No. No, not because you told me. Because I listen to more pregame, postgame, player interviews. I listen to more basketball than most 99% of the country. I watch more basketball than you do. do you don't even listen to KSR. Kentucky Sports Radio. If oh. you haven't checked them out, they've got there there's even an app on iTunes for uh Kentucky Sports Radio. Matt Jones and the crew. If you ain't already checked them out, go check them out. Um uh, every morning, it's like ten to twelve. I'm Nothing working. but Kentucky basketball. You know, I'm I am too, but I put my earbuds in. I can't. I'm actually have a job. Maybe you should find a sugar daddy. I do. I found one. I'm I got some chick knocked up and she pays for all the shit I'm that not I want to do. Sugar mama. <laughs> But uh, short video, get on a little gaming topic. Um, I took a loss. Oh, you have no idea. It I was. Did. I heard about it in the living room. I took a loss. Waking up kids, dogs were barking. 167 wins. I had a 167 win streak. His panties were in a wad. He got, I mean, he got verglimped. It was bad. I got what? <laughs> verglimped? Haven't you ever heard that? I'm, what the fuck is it? Verglimped? No. Saturday Night Live? You can't make up shit right here on my show. Saturday Night Live, uh, Myers guy, who would dress right. up, and that lady, that's what she would say. She had really long fingernails. Linda. I think her name was Linda. You're so soft-spoken. Why, why don't you talk to my subs like you do me? Get the fuck up and make me a sandwich! I don't ask you to make me a sandwich. You no, know, you say sandwich. No, I don't. I say go pick up your shit. It's everywhere. <laughs> But they probably pick up their shit, so I would not have to speak to them in that tone. And they probably, you know, don't harass me with, um, you know, weed eaters in the bedroom. <laughs> so, before we end this show, <laughs> again, I did. I took a loss on domination. Uh, we were running with our crew. We had six men, no excuses. 167 win streak. We'll start over. But... So a little story before we go. We've been married about, I don't know, four years? Five years? No, we've been married ten years now. When the said incident occurred. We've been married about, about four years. three. The proper way. So, Saturday morning, midsummer, we've got our new home. Of course, I get up crack of dawn and I'm starting to do lawn Whatever. care festivities. Whatever. I'm outside I'm outside doing the yard work. And any good lawn care man knows when you take pride in your in your home. The first thing you do is weed eat. You weed eat around the perimeter of your home, around any small shrubbery, some vegetation, ficus. We didn't you have clean it up. Skin. Yes, we did. No, but we, we had to. We you, had still grass. To, you still got to weed eat around the house. Okay, whatever. So. No shrubbery. So. It's hot out. It's already like 98 degrees at 730 in the morning. I'm sweating like a hog. <laughs> and I run out of string. But I had prepared. I had prepared. The night before, I went to the local Wally World. That's what we call Walmart here in the South. I went to the local Walmart and I had purchased 655 feet of the highest tension plastic weed eating string I could find. Top of the line, gold. I think it had gold lining in it. It was bright orange. Sewn from Cupid's arrows. But cheap. So the string breaks. Final final little snippet of string. Slings from the weed eater. And I go to the door. And my kids are sitting on the couch. What you doing, Daddy? Do I say, really tell Mama. Talk like that. <laughs> kind of like water hits. So I say, tell your mother. Tell your mother to please bring me. Because I'm thinking, oh, she's fixing breakfast. Such a loving woman. She's fixing breakfast. I say, can you tell your mother to bring me the string so that I don't walk into the house covered in grass and weeds? Strings in the basement. Basement's not finished. Uh, shut your mouth. This is us. It was actually upstairs on the kitchen table. It was not. So... I said, can you please, can you please tell your mother to bring me the string? Mama's in the bed. And they're rocking. Our kids do not talk like that. Well, I'm just saying, that's what a kid sounds like to most adults. No, it doesn't. So I'm like, could you please have your mother? I did please bring me the string. Not a, not a sound. Not a stir. Not a glimmer of life come from our bedroom. So I'm pissed. I go outside and I dust myself off. And I take the stringless weed eater. Gas powered. 
I, I souped it up a little bit because that's what we do down here at the Rod Shop. I soup the weed eater up. The Rod Shop. Yeah, County Line Rod Shop. That's where the Mustang is. I've yet to show them pictures of the Mustang. Your most coveted vehicle you, we've ever owned. But, so, now that I have a stringless weed eater that String could do no harm, I decide to make a little trip down the hallway into the bedroom. And I <laughs> open the bedroom door. There I see my princess. <laughs> Sucking the air, moving. It. She's sucking the curtains in. I'm I just gonna say she was sucking the curtains in. I'll make a recording and put it on a video. I say, my dear, can you please waketh from your slumber? No response. I was in the slumber. My dear, please waken. Second time, no response. I gave her three attempts, and then I fired that motherfucker up right in the door of the bedroom like the Texas Chainsaw Master. <laughs> And slept in the basement the whole next week. She came out of bed, buried fair nails, lead press on nails, because we was broke as a joke, buried her <laughs> lead press on nails into the ceiling fan. I don't wear fake nails. <laughs> I'm not a cat. Yeah, but you were making hissing noises at me. So my immediate quick action to save my life, because more likely if she got on me, she'd rip my esophagus straight from That's my head. That's true. Bam, hit the kill switch, throw it over my back like Rambo, and I proceed to haul ass down the hallway out the front door. Which I very quickly locked. You locked it. You did lock it. I did. But you didn't lock the basement door because your ass went back to bed. But uh, <laughs> that's the proper way to wake your wife up on a Saturday morning in midsummer while you're trying to do yard work. Sure. I enjoyed it. I did enjoy that, I have to say. And I, I'm, and it's fun that you're on here because now we tell these, these fun, festive tales. That, festive? Yes, that was no, festive. No, that was grass That was just like Mardi Gras. That was like Mardi grass Gras. Grass shrapnel in my bed. Who else gets woke up by a weed eater? That is smoking hot. We'll save some that more stories for next time. Hot. We'll save the dynamite in the living room for the next time. Oh, God. Oh, uh, we'll save that again. So, I'll let you I'll let you kick us out. Go ahead and do it. I don't cuss. You want to do I'm it? I'm a good girl. Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> Motherfucker, come pick up that shit. You just said shit. Right I did there. not say that. You said shit on here. Tell them goodbye. They're tired of listening. Bye. Peace out, bitches!